welcome everybody. I'm just going to push you back a little bit. Um, we're actually going to start standing today at the top of your mat. Yeah. So up on your feet and just have a little look down at your feet. Make sure your toes are in line with your heels. You can lift all your all 10 toes up, spread them, and then just let them fall. You can lift the heels up. Let's come up onto the toes a little bit, just see how that feels. And then let the heels fall down and just rock forwards and back a little bit. Feeling where is your center? And you can always uh, as well rock from side to side. And you can do little circles as well. So moving through the toes and through the heels of the feet. And then little circles the other way. And then just resting your hands down by your side. Draw your kneecaps up. Draw your quads up. Have a little tuck of your tail as well. So you're drawing your belly button up the back. Let your shoulders draw down the back and you give the head a little shake from side to side. And then with your eyes closed, just start to think about how you're breathing. And so just letting the breath flow in and out through your nose. The next time that you breathe in, imagine the air drawing up from the earth through your feet, up your legs, up into your body, up into your head. As you exhale, it travels all the way back down. And so with the inhale, imagine that you're drawing energy up from the earth, through your feet, up through your legs, up into your belly, up into your head. And as you exhale, it flows back down. Go like that a few more times as you breathe in, filling yourself up from the portals of your feet, <laughs> from the earth, the energy of the earth. And as you exhale, letting it all flow back there. And as you continue with, the, with that a few more times, just imagine or feel yourself becoming a little bit more grounded, a little bit more rooted. Feeling that stability and strength from the air. Just blinking your eyes open. Take the weight onto your right foot and just hover your left foot off the floor a little bit. Yeah, so it's hovering off the floor. It stays in line with the right toes. Have a little micro bend in your right leg and then just hinge from the hips. You don't have to go too low because it's early and your hamstring is not quite stretched. And then lift yourself right back and try and keep that left foot off the floor. So do that a few times, you're hindering from the hip and you're trying to hover the left foot off the floor as you bring your body down. Feel the hamstring engage and then come back up. I try one more time, hinging from the hip. And remember, this is the first stretch that you're doing, so don't go to the deepest one. Just see it, feel it, notice it, and then bring it back. Put the left foot onto the floor and then hover the right foot off. Maybe that's a relief for your right leg. Now you've got a little bend in the left leg, that's important. And then hinge from the hip and try and keep your right toes in line with the left. And then bring yourself back up. Notice if the right foot moves, try and keep it where it is. And you're going to hinge from the hip. Feel the hamstring stretch, we're not going to our biggest place. And then bring it back up. And last time, you can hinge from the hip. And 
and then bring it right back up. Well done. Putting your right foot down onto the mat, press your palms together, inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge from the hips. Now you've definitely got a bend in the legs here. Notice you can relax your head, take a breath in and lift your head, chest up. And as you breathe out, bend the knees so your hands go flat on the floor. Take your right leg back and your left leg back. Lower the knees and tuck the toes. And then push the hips back into your heels, into your child's pose. Yes, that was a big click in my shoulder. Push down through the hands. Feel the stretch through the arms. Inhale. And as you exhale, come up onto the hands. Tuck your toes under and lift the hips up and back into a downward facing dog. And then looking forwards, walk your feet back to your hands. Halfway lift, lifting the head chest up. And then exhale and fold, relax your head. All right, roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. And then draw your shoulders down the back, have your hands down by your side. Okay, so now pull the weight again into your uh, right foot and pop your left foot off. And see if there's a little bit more space now. Hinge from the hip, see how low you can go. Be mindful, it is still early. And then bring it back up. Oops. And again, hinge from the hips. If you fall and wobble, don't worry, just bring it back. Hold, bring that left foot, bring it back. Yeah. Try not to let the left toes move, keep them where they are. Hinge from the hip. And then bring it back. Okay. Pop the left foot flat onto the mat. Hold your right foot up. And again, hinge from the hip. So your left leg is uh, definitely bent. Go to where you feel the hamstring stretch and then bring it back up. Okay, two more of them. Hinge from the hips. So you're using your concentration, your focus to help you balance. And bring it back. Last time. Hinge from the hip. And then bring it back. Good. Pop the foot back down onto the mat. Arms together. Inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale and forward. Hinge from the hip. Or the hips. <laughs> Inhale, take a halfway lift. And as you exhale, bend your knees, hands flat, take your right leg back and take your left leg back. Lower the knees, push your hips back into your heels, into your child's pose, forehead down into the mat. Then you're breathing in. Breathing out slowly, waking up, slowly warming up. Coming up onto all fours. Tuck your toes and then lift the hips up and back into down dog. How's that downward facing dog feeling? And then looking forwards, walk your feet towards your hands. Once you get there, halfway lift the left foot. Exhale and fold. There's a bend in your legs. Relax your head. Slowly roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Okay, draw the shoulders down the back, have your hands down by your spine. So just take a little step back and then slide your right leg forwards. Lower the right heel onto the floor and then bend your left leg a lot. You can bring your hands on your hips and then you can hinge from the hip here or the hips. <laughs> Once you get to a place where you feel the hamstring, then you can do a few little pulses here. So I guess you guessed that it's all about the hamstrings today. Hmm. A few more pulses, just notice how it feels. Yeah. Then lifting yourself right back up. You stand onto the right leg and hover the left toes in line with the right. Hinge from the hip. So that left foot is hovering off the floor and you're hinging from the hip, and then just see if you can take your left leg back into a warrior three. 
Be mindful, find that control. Stay on your warrior three, just let your left foot land next to the right again. Try and hover it off the floor and then lift yourself back up to standing. Wheel there, lower your left foot down. Good, maybe take another step back. All right, left leg slides forwards. Press the heel down and then bend your right leg a lot. Start to hinge from the hip. I don't know why I'm saying hip, it's hips. <laughs> and then pulse. So you're pulsing not past where you feel the stretch, just within the stretch. You always want to feel the stretch within the belly of the hamstring. Yeah, so if you're feeling it behind your knee or by your sit bone, come up a bit. Good. Okay, and then lifting yourself back up. You stand onto the left foot, hover your right foot in line with your left. Good, and then take that hinge from the hip. Try and keep your right toes in line with your left. Taking the right leg back into warrior three. Just be mindful, move slowly. There's a little bend in your left leg. Keeping your body in warrior three, lower your right foot in line with your left. And then lift yourself back up. Try and keep the right foot hovering. And then lower the right foot down onto the mat. Well done. Press your palms together. Inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge from the hips. Inhale, take a halfway lift and let them. And as you exhale, bend the knees, hands flat, right foot back and left foot back. Lower the knees, push back into your heels and take that child's pose. We stretch the arms out, feel the shoulders stretch, inhale, and exhale. Good. Look your fours, come back up onto all fours, tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back into your down dog. You can maybe press the heels one down one by one then. Those hamstrings getting a little bit of warmth. And looking forwards, walk your feet towards your hands. Let's get one more round in like that. Once the feet are by the hands, inhale, take a halfway lift. And then exhale, fold. Maybe you can be a bit braver now and take your hands behind your calves and start to draw yourself in a bit. Slowly start to roll your way back up. We'll bring the hands onto the hips. Just step back a little bit so you've got some more room. Slide your right leg forwards. Press your heel down. Bend the left leg. Hips are level. And then hinge. So now maybe you can go a little bit lower this time. And finding the little pulses. Push down to your right foot. Listen to the hamstring. But try not to overstretch. Lifting yourself right back up. Good, stand onto the right leg. Hold with your left foot. Hinge from the hips, keep the toes in line. And then lift the left leg up, come up into your warrior three. From warrior three now, can you bring your left knee into your chest, come to standing. Catch hold of your left knee with your hands and squeeze the thigh up towards the chest. Inhale. As you exhale, bend your right leg a lot and push, put your left ankle on the top of your right thigh into a chair pose. You can bring your hands heart center. So starting to think about the stretch within the hip. Inhale. And exhale. Good. Bringing the left knee back up to your chest if you're wobbling, catch hold of something. And then take the left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Let the toes rest on the floor, let the hands come down onto the floor. And then lower the left knee to the floor. 
Press the front of that right thigh, right, uh, sorry, left thigh, left hip. Inhale, draw the head chest forward. And exhale, sink into it. Just let the front of that left thigh, left hip stretch. We're going to come back onto the left knee and then draw the right toes to the face. Inhale, halfway lift. And then exhale and fold over the leg. Good. Nice. Step back onto the right leg. Tuck your back toes. Lift the back knee. Front foot to the back. And then lower the knees. Push the hips back into your child's pose. Reach the hands out in front. Forehead down towards the floor. Does that right hip feel a little bit different? Does that left hip feel a little bit different? Yeah, what's happening? And then back up onto all fours. Tucking the toes, hips up and back into downward dog. Looking forwards, walk your feet towards your hands. So last little round like this. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen. This is getting a little bit easier now. And then exhale, hands behind the calves. Draw yourself in, try and relax your head. Mm -hmm. We can roll up. Last thing to come up is the head. And bring your hands onto your hips. Let's take a little step back. <laughs> Sliding your left leg forwards, left heel down onto the mat, bend your right leg, bring your hips level, and then just see is there a little bit more space now for you to go a little bit further. Yeah, never overstretching, just go to your place. And those little pulses here. Well done. And pushing down through your right foot, come all the way back up. Yeah. So you stand onto the left leg, hover your right foot in line with the left, and then hinge from the hips. From hinging, could you take your right leg back into warrior three? And if you're wobbling, hold on to something. It really doesn't matter. From here, bring your right knee into your chest. Coming up to standing on your left leg, take the hands around your right knee and squeeze the knee up. Bend your left leg a lot. Put your right ankle on the top of the left thigh. And you can bring your hands heart center while you work on opening up this right hip. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Power to your left leg. Bring your right knee up to your chest. And then we'll take the leg all the way to the back of the mat. So you can rest the toes there at the back. Once you get there, hands go down and then lower the right knee down. And we'll stay here, push into the fingertips, draw your head chest forwards. Let your right thigh, right hip sink. Feels good just to let that open, let that stretch. We'll take one more breath here. So then take it back onto the right knee and we'll draw the left toes to the face. <laughs> Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold over the left leg. We'll take one more breath here. Good. So stand back onto your left leg. Lifting the back knee up off the floor, front foot to the back, and then we'll lower the knees, push the hips back into your child's pose, reach the hands forwards, inhale, and exhale. Coming on to all fours, and into cat cows, just getting the spine moving a bit, let the belly sink and lift the head chest up. Push away and round into the back, chin to chest. Let the belly sink, lift the head, chest up. 
Push away and round into the back. Last time, let the belly sink and lift the head chest up. And then push away and round into the back. Letting the belly sink, lift the head chest up, tuck your toes, come up into your downward facing dog. How's those hamstrings doing? Take a breath in and a breath out. Push the mat away with your hands. Lift the sit bones up, feel the hamstrings stretch. Keep the feet where they are. Just take your right leg up to the sky. Keep the toes pointing down and you can pulse the leg so it goes a little bit higher every time. Nice little pulses here. And then you can bend the knee and open up the hip. Send that right knee up nice and high. Bring your right foot inside your right hand and then come up into a high lunge. Good. Now from high lunge, straighten the right leg and then bring your hands down towards the floor. You could bring your hand onto your shin or you could bring the hands down onto the floor. Notice my back heel is lifted. Yeah. Inhale, draw the head chest forwards. Exhale, squeeze the right hip back as you lower over your right leg. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And then exhale, slide your right foot to the back of your mat. Your first thing now, so you can drop your knees if you wish. Elbows brushed by the rib cage. Push down, go over up dog. And then take it up and back into your downward facing dog. Breathe in, lift the hips up. And breathe out, push the mat away. Uh, keeping the feet where they are, just lift your left leg up, toes pointing down, and then see if you can pulse the leg. As you pulse, can you squeeze the right heel down more? And then you can bend the knee and open up the hip. Anyway, send that knee up nice and high, point your left toes strong all the way through the leg. And then bring the knee into the nose and pop your left foot inside the left thumb. Let's come up into a high lunge. Good, inhale. Good. Now as you exhale, start to straighten your left leg. You can rest your left, your hands on your shin. Look at my back heel, really lift that back heel up. Place your hands on the floor if you like. Inhale, draw the head chest forwards. And exhale. Push through your right toes to squeeze your left hip back as you fold. Good, nice. Then from here, slide your left foot to the back of the mat. You might be bending the leg to do that. You're in your plank pose and you go through your vinyasa. Elbows bend as you lower the body down. Come into your cobra up dog. And then take it up and back into downward dog. Breathe in, lift the sit bones up. And breathe out, push your, your mat away with the hands. Then take the right leg up to the sky, flex the foot, do your little pulses here. And then bend the knee and open up that head. Bring your right knee into your nose, right foot inside the right thumb. Come up into your high lunge. That's it. Can you feel the stretch through the front of the left thigh, left hip? Yeah, tuck under to get deeper into that stretch. Now take the hands down and straighten into the right leg. Your left heel is lifted, squeeze your right hip back. Inhale. Lift the head, chest up. Exhale and fold over the legs. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. And you stand onto your right leg, lift your left leg up into a half standing step. So that left leg is parallel to the floor here. Inhale, lift the head, chest up. 
Exhale and fold over your right leg. Really push through your left heel here. Yeah, now lower your left foot next to your right. And then take a halfway lift. Exhale out, fold hands behind your calves, draw yourself in. Mm -hmm. Roll your way up, last thing to come up is the head. Press your palms together, inhale, lift your arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, you can jump it back now or step it back. And vinyasa, elbows brush the rib cage. Cobra up dog. We take it up and back down with facing dog. Push the mat away, take a big breath in. And a long breath out. How's the legs feeling? Okay, swinging the left leg up to the sky, do nice little pulses here. And then bend the knee and open up that hip. Good, bring your left knee into your nose, left foot inside the hands. Come up into high lunge. Just spend a moment just thinking about this right hip. Tuck the tail straight into that back leg if you can. And then taking the hands either onto the shin or onto the floor and lifting that right heel up. Inhale, head chest forwards. Exhale, fold over the left leg. And inhale, lift the head chest up. Good, and as you exhale, you can stand on the left leg, lift the right leg up. You've definitely got a bend in that left leg, okay guys? Doing your half standing split, inhale. And exhale, take the nose towards your shin. Nose towards your left shin. Lower your right foot next to the left. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale and fold. Draw yourself in. Roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. Arms together. Lift your arms up. And then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, take a halfway lift, and you can jump back or you can step back. Vinyasa from there. Meet me in downward facing dog. Push the heels down, lift the hips up, take a nice big breath in. And a long breath out. We got another flow. So let's lift the right leg up, toes pointing down, a little bit of pulsing. Maybe this is getting easier now. Bend the knee and open up that hip. So now let's bring your right foot next to your left thumb. We're gonna come into our warrior two. Dropping the back heel, swing the left arm to the front of the mat, twist the chest to the left, and let's come all the way up into your warrior two shape. There. Good, reach the hands away, sit down a little bit deeper. A little different shape now, but the right hamstring is strong and awake, and that back leg is nice and strong and straight. Flip the front palm, reach it forwards, take it back and breathe into the right side. And let's straighten the right leg, Come into triangle, push this left hip away, right hand can be on the shin or behind the right leg, left arm up and over your head. Mm -hmm. Twist the right rib cage to the left, feel the extension all through the left side, inhale. And as you exhale, take the left hand back up to the sky and now let the left hand fall towards the floor. Rest the left fingers on the floor just by your right foot. And bend into the right leg. Take your right hand a little bit further forwards and then start to lift your left leg up. All right, we're gonna come into a half moon. So you push into your right fingers, stack your left hip on top of the right, 
and then take your left arm up to the sky when you feel ready. Can you lift that left leg up a little bit higher? Can you twist the right rib cage towards the left a little bit more? Beautiful. Now slowly start to bend your right leg and lower your left foot at the back of the mat. We'll come all the way back into warrior two, if you can. Yes, <laughs> good. Right hand comes back down. Left hand follows, and then front foot to the back. Find your plank and your vinyasa. Cobra up dog, and then back into downward facing dog. Oof. Breathe in, lift the hips up. Breathe out, squeeze the heels down. All right, left leg lifts up to the sky, toes pointing down. Get the little pulsing in. Strengthening while stretching. You can bend the knee and open up the hip now. Feel that stretch there. And then bring your left foot next to your right thumb. Okay, drop the back heel, 45, and reach the right fingers to the front of the mat. Try and twist your left rib cage to the right side. And then coming into your warrior two, from there, reaching the arms out. We are, our legs are already in place, so we are there. Reach the hands away, sit down a bit deeper. Okay, flip the front palm, reach it forward, take it back and breathe into the left side. Straighten the front leg and then push the back hip away, come into your triangle shape. Left hand can be on your shin, the left hand can be outside the left leg if you can keep the left side of the body nice and long. Inhale. Exhale, squeeze the legs towards each other. Right arm can come up and over your head. And then lower the right hand down onto the floor, in a different direction to last time. <laughs> Bend into the left leg. Take the left hand further forwards and then start to lift your right leg up. Yeah, so use your hands for balance here, stack your right hip on top of the left. Now push into your left fingertips and then start to swing your right arm up to the sky. So right toes are facing the right. The inner edge of your right foot is parallel to the floor and you're trying to lift up from the outer right leg. Inhale. Good. So this is the challenge. Come back into warrior two from here, bending the left leg. Right foot landing at the back of the mat, and you're back in your warrior two. Okay. Good. Left hand comes down. Right hand follows, and then front foot to the back. Your vinyasa from there. Elbows brush the rib cage. Cobra up dog, and then back into your downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Ooh, awesome. Okay, from here, lift the right leg up. You can just bend your knee and open up the hip. Bring your right foot next to your left thumb. And then turn both toes towards the right. So threading in what we've been working on all week. Take the hands behind your back, interlace the fingers. Draw your shoulders back, have your wrists touching, and then let your arms come up and over your head. Put the weight into your toes a little bit. If your head's on the floor, just bring your legs a bit closer together. Hold it there. Whoops, I have one more breath. Almost put a little bit too much weight in my toes there. And then release the hands, bring them back down onto the mat. Okay, press the hands underneath your shoulders. Yeah, now rock forwards into your toes and lift your heels up. Put the weight into your hands and then lower back down. And again, rocking forwards, lift the heels up and lower back down. So you can have a big bend in the legs here. And again, rocking forwards, lift the heels up. And lower back down. Well done. So 
You're going to re-bend into your right leg, facing the top of the mat, coming into a nice low lunge, lowering that left knee down towards the floor. Come into fists, so you're pressing your fists into the floor, and then just come back onto the left leg and draw the right toes to the fist. Now, you might be happy here, or you can just tuck your back toes, lift the back knee up off the floor. This is enough, or maybe you are ready to feel or move a little bit deeper into your splits, yeah? So see where you get to. Doesn't matter where you are, it matters what you feel. Yeah, so if you can feel all the stretch, then you're in the right place. Whether that means you're still in your runner's lunge or if you're a little bit lower into your splits, doesn't matter. Breathing in and breathing out. Awesome. So somehow you're going to fall onto the right side and then open into a wide leg forward fold to face the left side. Yeah. So it might take a little bit of a wiggle for you to get there. Once you're there, inhale, lift up nice and tall, and then exhale, just walk the hands forwards, relax the forehead down towards the floor. Is this getting a little bit easier now after working on it for the last two days? Perhaps not. <laughs> Take one more breath. Now walking your hands back towards your hips. <laughs> Good. Bring a uh, bend both knees. Squeeze the heels in, in, in. It's not so easy. And then try and sit into your malasana. Maybe you come into a different way. It's fine, but end up in Malasana. Elbows into your knees, press your palms together, lift your chest up. We're always trying to emulate a six-year-old in our yoga practice. Good. Taking the hands to the floor, lifting the hips up. Just turn your toes inwards. I'm going to take a halfway lift and then exhale out forward. Lovely guys, slowly roll your way up, last thing to come up is the head. Nice and simple, just step to the top of your mat, press your palms together, inhale, lift the arms up, and then exhale, fold and hinge. Inhale, take a halfway lift, and then exhale, jump, step your feet back, vinyasa. Cobra or your up dog, and then take it back down facing dog. Okay, so we are ready for the other side. Okay, take the left leg up to the sky, bend the knee, open up the hip. So land your left foot next to your right thumb, and then turn both toes towards the right. Come into a wide leg forward fold, relax your head down. So this time, try walking your hands towards the left side of the mat, fingers pointing away. Inhale, lift your head, chest up, and then exhale, try and creep your hands further through. And again, take more weight into your toes here, try and relax your head. And then walking the hands forwards, put the hands underneath your shoulders, inhale, halfway lift. As you exhale, come onto the toes, rock into the hands, and then squeeze the heels back down. Okay, do that a few times, rocking forwards, lifting the heels, lower back down. And last time, rocking forwards, lift the heels. Maybe you can hover your right foot off the floor. Lower your right foot, maybe you can hover your left foot off the floor. Don't think about it. Lower the left foot and then squeeze the heels back down. Get swing over towards the front of the mat, bending into the left leg, lowering the right knee down. Splits on the other side. So you can come back onto your right leg. And then you can think about the fists becoming that support here for you. 
and tuck your back toes and lift the back knee. So this is a good place to be. Or maybe you'll slide that leg forwards, coming back into splits. Mm -hmm. And remember, it's not about what it looks like here, it's about what it feels like. So you don't want to try and get deeper if that's past, past what's, what your hamstring will allow you to do or what your hip flexor will allow you to do. One more breath. Good. And now you can collapse over onto that left side. That's it. And then just turn to face the right. So you are in your wide leg forward fold again. Inhale, lift up tall. Flex through the feet. Make sure the knees are up, the inner thighs drawing outwards. And then walk your hands forwards. Maybe come onto your forearms. Maybe reach the arms all the way out in front. Long breath in and long breath out. <laughs> Good. And then make your way back up. So try again there with this. So you're going to think about flexing your feet and then drawing the knees up and drawing the feet in. And then somehow you're going to come into your malasana so you can make that happen however it will happen. If you can just kind of sneak your way into it, go for it, elbows into your knees, press your palms together, lift the head, chest up. And then taking the hands to the floor, lifting the hips up. And then heel, uh, bring your toes in. I'm gonna take a halfway lift and then exhale and fold. Okay, we're going to stay here for um, a little longer. Take your right arm inside your right leg. So notice your feet are hip distance apart. Right arm goes inside the right leg. You can bend the right leg as you take your right hand outside of your right thigh. Take your left arm around your back. Maybe you find your fingers, catch hold of them. If not, don't worry, just reach for them and then try and straighten into your right leg as you twist the chest towards the left. So your right leg is bent and your left leg is straight. And you've got all the blood pooling into your head, waking you up. Well done, and then release. Taking your left arm inside your left leg, wrapping your left hand around the, right, the left thigh, and then taking your right hand around your back, catching hold of the fingers, opening up the chest. So your left leg is bent, but you're trying to straighten it and you're straightening into the right leg. And then release. Awesome guys. Slowly start to roll your way up. Last thing to come up is the head. And then simply step to the top of the mat. <laughs> okay, your last vinyasa, press the palms together, lift the arms up, and then exhale, fold, hinge. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, jump it back, step it back. Vinyasa. And meet me in downward facing dog. Good. Push through your hands, lift the hips up high. Nice big breath in and a long breath out. We have finished with a pigeon, right knee to your right wrist, right foot towards the left wrist, and then walk your hands forwards. Take a moment, forehead down into the floor. How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Hamstring awakening. So we worked on the, the spine on Monday. We worked on the hip flexors on uh, Tuesday. And then coming into the hamstrings on Wednesday. The full body experience. Take one more breath here. 
Then walk your hands back towards your right knee and let's, let's bend the left leg in, squeeze the heel into the bum, not so much for the hamstring there, but for the quad. So if you take your left hand back, catch hold of the foot and squeeze the heel in. Pushing that right knee, oh, sorry, left knee down into the mat. Be mindful of the quad. Okay, okay release the left leg. You're going to swing the left leg all the way back to the front of the mat and take pigeon now on the left side. So you can bend the left leg in, take your right leg back, and then just walk your hands forwards. Taking those long breaths to help you relax, help you settle. And then you're walking your hands back up. And then you bring your right heel into your bum. Now again, so about the quad now. So take your right hand back, catch hold of the foot and squeeze the heel in. So you want to feel the, the muscle at the top of your right leg stretching here. Push down through the top of your right knee. If you need more, squeeze your hand into the foot if you need more. Good, and then release. Ooh. <laughs> Fall onto the left side and then take your right leg all the way around. We'll bring the soles of the feet together, knees open. Catch hold of your feet, lift up tall and then fold it forwards. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. Long breath in and a long breath out. Let's walk the hands over towards the right hand side. Yeah, go over as far as feels good. You can reach through the left side, maybe reaching your left hand a little bit further forward. So just getting a bit more into your that side body, feeling the space from the hip all the way to the fingertips. And then walking the hands all the way over to the other side, forehead all the way towards your right knee and reaching through the right hand, breathe into the right side. And then walking your hands back to the center, lifting yourself up and you get to lie down onto your back. So you can bring your heels close to your hips or hips close to your heels, lay down onto your back. And arms can go up and over your head. Wow, we've worked hard, the hamstrings have been on quite a journey. We can maybe uh, take the, let the legs just move from side to side. So a little rocking action, getting a massage on your sacrum. And you can find stillness, let your eyes close, let your face relax. So a few more stretches just before we, we uh, stop. So you can bring your knees into your chest and then just let both knees fall to the right side into a twist. Think about your left shoulder blade pressing down into the mat and your right hand pressing your left knee down. And then bringing the knees back into the center and we're letting them fall to the other side. And then squeezing your right shoulder blade down into the mat. I like to keep my eyes straight up to the sky so I'm not overstretching in, in the neck or in my neck. So you can play with that. Maybe you like to look at your right hand. Okay. 
And then the last pose, bringing your knees into your chest, come into plyo pose, even though I don't want to, <laughs> I will. Legs up and over the head. If you're not happy in plyo, you can take a happy baby. Try not to let the weight fall into your neck. Take the weight into your elbows. And putting the palms flat onto the floor, you can slowly lower down. We'll take the feet to the corners of the mat. Palms down by your side, palms faced up. Just let your eyes close, let your legs relax completely. Oh, I'm sure you can feel some heat in your legs, some energy. Make you can feel that energy around your whole body. See if that can help you to relax. Give yourself a little time to settle. Bring you into a, a normal place, a relaxed place, ready for the rest of your day. Maybe this is the only moment you get for yourself today. So take it, own it, it's yours. If you can take a longer shavasana, you know, take as long as you like. Okay? Otherwise, if you need to get moving, you start to breathe a little bit deeper. Move your fingers and move your toes, just reawakening. And of course, don't worry, if you want to stay a little bit longer, that would be great. Reach your arms up and over your head, you can do a full body stretch. If you're moving with me, and then roll over onto the right hand side into a fetal shape. Now, keeping your eyes closed, come up to seated to face the front, sit in any shape that feels good. Arms together, thumbs pushing into your chest bone, just to ingress you to the practice. In gratitude to all the teachers before me and in gratitude to you guys for being here today. Getting here, getting here, getting to the end. Big breath in. Open mouth, exhale, let it go. Namaste, have a beautiful rest of your day. Whatever you're doing, your hamstrings are ready. <laughs> your mind is ready. Your body is ready. Good, have a great day.